8. Hello everybody. Oh, I, th I think I, I changed the screen just too slow for the, the hydrate to show up. <laughs> but hello everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to Zumbinis. <laughs> I can't stay away. I, I am so charmed by this game. I'm so glad this game, it stands the test of time. I'm, I was so like pleasantly impressed by it. <laughs> It makes me want to play more. I'm really excited to play more, especially when the, the difficulty starts ramping up a bit. Gonna have to really get the brain cells out for that. <laughs> but I'm still at like easy mode, I think. I'm, I'm still on the, I'm not on the, the hard difficulties yet. So it shouldn't be a problem yet. Maybe, fingers crossed, we will see. Uh, I'm running on about two hours of sleep. So we'll see how it goes. My brain is not quite here but uh, th th it's okay it'll be all right i just clicked out of the game i forgot that makes the music stop <laughs> hello everybody bob congratulations on the first welcome welcome and thank you for the hydrate i will have a sip i'm finishing off the nitro today the uh the monster nitro which is like fluorescent lime green <laughs> so that is my monster for the day <laughs> It was so good. I'm I'm still like amazed at how I I really like the flavor of this one. I didn't expect to like it, but it was good. I need more cans. Like you know, I have got so much monster. You, I, I do not have to worry about monster for a while. I still haven't finished the ones from my birthday stream, <laughs> and I have like almost full packs of the the peach and another one somewhere buried under other boxes at the moment <laughs> so i'm i'm good for monster i'm i'm stocked up <laughs> oh you mean like 3d cans oh no i don't plan on drinking these regularly so no <laughs> but thank you <laughs> i was like are you are you offering me monster i've got so much i'm okay <laughs> thank you but uh ba 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 Miyoko Cho, hello, welcome, welcome. I am so excited. I'm I'm just here like wow, I I really feel so old. I'm getting so excited about furniture. But it's I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I'm very happy to to have my new mattress. It's I've I've had a lie on it already, even though it's um it smells very bad at the moment. <laughs> It's like that that new mattress smell, like where you, where you like take the plastic off for the first time, and all of the smell is caught inside, and then all the gases start coming out, and it smells not very nice. I'm at that stage at the moment, and it um it's it's not great. My room doesn't smell great at the moment. It's another part of the reason why I'm doing a slightly shorter stream, because I have to have the window open right now. There's no way I can not have the window open. Because it's not a nice smell. <laughs> but it's already... It's already dissipated quite a lot from, like, when I got it. But uh, it's just, like, a... It's just the new mattress smell of any sort. It, it's just that way anyway. Uh, but it has already gotten a lot better. So it should hopefully be okay for tonight when I sleep. But I did have a lie on it already. And it's so comfortable. It's so much nicer than my other... Than my other mattress was. Like, I've... I worked it out the other day. The other mattress I got January 2012. So that mattress is 12 and a half years old. And like over 12 and a half years old. So it, it, I was definitely due a new mattress. I, I, it was definitely overdue. <laughs> but uh, I'm so, so happy to have it. Like the delivery was so smooth too. It was just... A single guy brought the whole mattress upstairs. It was just the, the guy at the door was just like, hey, got a mattress? What room do you want it in? Just brought it up the stairs, put it down. It's just like, right, great, see ya. <laughs> Gave us a few instructions on what to do, how long to leave it out, let it air and stuff. And then he was gone again. It was like the most efficient delivery of all time. It was so good. <laughs> anyway, Akire, welcome. Thank you for the door knock. Welcome on in. And uh, Shogun, hello. I'm, yeah, I'm, 
when I say I want to fully complete this game, I don't mean, like, as, like, an active effort. I mean as, like, an ongoing thing. Like, I am i haven't just gone, you know what, I'm going to complete this game. This is going to be all I play for the next four months. Like, I'm, I, I would probably lose my mind doing that. <laughs> but, like, as a, a little thing to pick up every now and then, just get some more Zumbinis to Zumbiniville, I feel like it's such a nice thing to add to my, my stream record, my, my list of stream things to do. Because it's so fun. I didn't expect it to be so fun as a grown adult, but it really is. It's so good. Oh, love Zeph, thank you for the hydrate. Let me have a sippy. Sippy of my nitro. <laughs> Yes, also apologies if um, if you hear any like background noise from outside. Uh, the area where I live is very noisy, so especially with the, um, with the window open, it does get pretty rowdy sometimes. There's a lot of, a lot of people like to bring motorcycles around here and then start revving them up, which is like, I don't know why you're doing that here. This is like the, the quietest neighborhood. There's a school around the corner. There's a bunch of elderly people. I don't know who you're trying to impress with your your bike revving. <laughs> but uh But yeah, it's uh it's it might be a bit loud, but I think it's okay. I think my mic is managing to not pick up a lot of it. So that's pretty good. The Grey Snow, hello, lovely to see you. Welcome, welcome. Oh, a serious question. Would I play the rest of the series? Um Probably not if it hasn't been remade. Like the the reason I'm playing this one is because it's it's been like remastered and put on Steam. If they did that with the other games, I would probably play them. But um this is the game I have an emotional attachment to. Like this is the only game I actually played. I know there are a couple of other Zumbinis games as well, but I never played those ones. I don't know what they're like. So it it would be fun at some point, but not like a priority or anything. Also, Flint, yes, more Zumbinis. I can't resist. I can't resist them. <laughs> it's I. I didn't. I genuinely did not expect to have as much fun with this game as I have been. Like it's. Like I. I did it as a joke. I. I feel like I can. <laughs> I feel a bit bad saying it now with how much fun I've been having with it. But I kind of wanted to play it as a bit of a joke just like oh a throwback let's check this out i played this when i was a child and then i played it and i was like oh no oh no it's actually really fun oh no <laughs> oh no i'm gonna keep playing this oh <laughs> maybe oh maybe this game was the the reason why i grew to love logic puzzles so much maybe this was my my puzzle puzzle master origin story <laughs> I think it could be. I think this could be my my origin story. Like this is this is the reason why I started loving puzzle games. It's because of this game. Playing this as a young child managed to like shape my my little logical brain. <laughs> uh, sunken shell, hello, lovely to see you. Welcome, welcome. I love how yesterday you said, oh, you can probably join an hour into the stream. And then I was like, well, I'm. I'm just going to start later anyway, so you're not missing anything. <laughs> it works out. Um, I, I decided to do a shorter stream today because, one, I got, like, no sleep last night. My, my last night on my horrible, broken, uncomfortable mattress. Didn't get much sleep. Had to wake up early for the delivery to come and also to, like, lug my old mattress out of my room so they had a place to put the new one. And then I tried to have a nap on my mum's bed, like, after the mattress arrived, and I just couldn't. <laughs> I I can't, like, I couldn't nap on my mum's bed. I don't know what it was. I just felt, like, awkward the whole time. So I kind of, I, I managed to have a lay down at least. I managed to lie down, but I didn't get any more sleep. So I'm, I'm very sleepy. <laughs> I'm very sleepy, but I'm gonna do my best either way. I have energy drinks, so I can do it. But yes, oh, thank you for the work, Lurk, as well, Limsev, and Dima, welcome! 
Hello, hello. Thank you for the dictionary narration redeem. I'll do that in a second. I shall do that in a second. When I've said hello to everybody. Suzume, hello. The, yeah, the delivery person understands the pain of a bad mattress and the swift need to replace it. I think it's more the fact that um, he had a van full of mattresses and had to go give more to other people. So he wanted to just be in and out as fast as possible. But he was very nice. He was very kind. He was just like, right, which room do you want it in? Very no nonsense. That's how I want a delivery to be. Like, if if somebody is coming into my house to deliver something heavy, I, I, I appreciate the efficiency, the, the swiftness. It was very good. Oh, and another hydrate! Thank you, Akira! Keep sipping. My throat still may sound a little bit hoarse, but I'm, I'm okay. I'm all right. Rika, hello! Lovely to see you! And Professor Chico, thank you for the head pile earlier, too. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? I am... I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm very sleepy, but things are going well. Things are going so well. I am just so excited to have this new mattress. I'm ridiculously excited. And Thermo, hello! G -g -g Greetings! <laughs> welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. I hope everyone's doing well. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Uh, is the new mattress a spring one or all foam? It's a. It's mostly spring. It's like pocket sprung. But it's a hybrid mattress with other elements to it as well. And it has like a, I don't know what it is, like a temperature control layer. I don't know what that means, but it sounds cool either way. <laughs> but it's very, very comfortable. It's really nice. I love it. But yeah, I'm, I, I'm glad it's here. I'm glad that I got the delivery window and it was quite early in the window. <laughs> Because I was getting ready to wait for like the whole two hour window, but it was pretty fast. It was pretty fast. It was like between 9.45 and 11.45 and I think it arrived at like 10. So it was like the super early in the window and I was so glad because then I could go and lie down. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, to sleep on it tonight and see what it feels like. It's probably going to take a while to get used to after getting so used to my old mattress, which was horrible and not comfortable. But it, it'll be... it'll be good. I'm excited. Hopefully I get a, a good night's sleep. Oh, uh, by the by, you're consuming my playthrough of the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I love that game so much too. <laughs> I love it so much, as you can probably tell by the... Eight. And things like that. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big Stanley fan. Also, the game's pretty good, but I'm mostly just a Stanley fan. He's pretty cool. Oh, I got I got um, a notice the other day saying that my my gym button, or my my button that says the name of the player that is playing the game, that one, <laughs> it's been shipped and it's like in shipping, and I checked the tracking and it just says um, a parcel has started to be sent and there's no updates. There's no other updates. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm a Stanley Stan. Uh, spoil, spoil you a bit. Did I get all the endings? I got all... I think I got all the endings. Except for the artistic baby one. But I know of it. I just could not be bothered. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I got all the other endings. I, I did my best to be as thorough as I could. And I think I found a few, like, secret things too. But uh, I, I scoured that game. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. It's so good. Whew. Anyway, though, I'm. That is not the game I'm playing now, though. I'm playing Zumbinis today. And I think what I'm gonna do is uh, to add a bit of challenge to myself. I'm gonna go full random. I'm fully gonna randomize it. We're just gonna get a bunch of random Zumbinis. Wow, the first two are basically twins, but slightly different. The randomization feels like it's giving a really good variety, to be honest. That's pretty nice. Yeah, nice. Oh my goodness, what is going on outside? Is that a bus? It sounded like a bus putting the brakes on, but squealing. Oh, I hate having the window open. <laughs> I hate having the window open. 
<laughs> but it smells. I, I have to for the smell. Uh, it's okay. Anyway, this is our... Wow. This is our band of intrepid explorers. We do have quite an interesting variety here. I like this. I like this. I think we can figure this out. I think we can do the path um, visiting the fleens using this slot because we've got a lot of variety in the different parts. We've got like a different amount of each one. So yeah, I think, I think we're going fleen route for this one. But yeah, let's get started on our logical journey. After days tossed about by a stormy sea, the Zumbinis reach the shore of a peculiar land. Yay! I'm so proud of them. I'm gonna go to the logical journey of work. Oh, good luck at work. I hope it all goes smoothly. I hope you have a very smooth work day. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah. Let's just start with one of them. Okay. Nope. Alright, you do not like this one. So you're gonna have to go this way. Let's try one with one similar feature. This one. Pink nose? It's not the nose. Okay. Is it the hair? Might be the hair. I think this is still easy difficulty, so I think it's still only one thing. We shall see. Let's try it by having the shades. Oh no! Oh, didn't like that either. Maybe, maybe the difficulty's gone up. How many zumbinis have I brought along so far? I've. I think I've gotten two lots through here, so so maybe the difficulty's gone up now. And there's gonna be multiple things. Let's try you to check if it is the shades. I think it's the shades. I think it's the shades and this hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you up here. Yes. And I think the rest should be fine down here. If they're not, we will simply... <laughs> oh, no, not you. Something there too. Okay, gotta be careful now. Hmm. Gotta be very careful now. Well, we know it's not the hair, because we sent them down with this hair. So it's gonna be something else. Hum. Interesting. I've only got two, two prongs left, so I gotta be careful about this now. <laughs> Also, Tim, hello! Welcome in, Uncle Tim! Let's see how this goes. Also, it, it is still a, a no back seating stream. <laughs> if you if you tell me what to look for, then I, I end up not getting the solution myself, so. <laughs> Let's see. Cause it's it's I don't think it's not gonna be the hair, because we got the same hairs going down here. It's not gonna be the feet because we've got the treads here as well. Not the nose, probably eyes. It might be like I'm gonna try send these two over on the bottom with these eyes. Oh, thank you! Thank you for pinning the message! I forgot to do it. I I let my guard down because it's Zumbinis. <laughs> but uh, thank you for pinning the message for me! I I hope the work luck goes well. Bum 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 bum. Right. They're getting across safely, so I'm... <laughs> okay, we got some over. I'm gonna... I'm gonna send... You over he oh. Hmm. I'm gonna send the ones with these eyes up the top. 
So now the question is, are you just going to be mad at all of them that don't have the dot eyes? Or would it be the other way around? Yeah, it, it does feel kind of funny to pin it for this game. It's just like, uh, please, I realize that Liri is playing a children's game, but... <laughs> But still, even when she gets stuck because she hasn't slept, just let her... Let, let me cook. I'll get there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send this one up the top, I think. <gasps> yep. Yeah, I think this one only likes the dot eyes. Well, this is the moment of truth. Yeah, I think it's that. There we go. How fortunate for Zumbinis that you are their guide. How fortunate indeed. Uh, you didn't sleep well when you got your new bed either. No, I, I, I only got the mattress today. Last night, I, I was sleeping on my old broken mattress. That's, that's why I didn't sleep well. <laughs> I was still, it was like the last night on my old mattress. And it's very broken and uncomfortable. And I had to be up early to be ready for the mattress to be delivered. So I'm I'm not running on like any sleep at the moment. I'm extremely tired. But it's okay because I've got um, a flat can of Monster Nitro that I'm drinking. <laughs> so I don't have to have sleep. I can just, um, if, if, if you can't have sleep energy, then store-bought is fine or <laughs> something like that. So yeah, it's part of the reason why I'm doing a shorter stream as well, because I'm very sleepy. And also because I have to have the window open, and I feel so uncomfortable with the window open. I feel so exposed. It's like when I stream with my door open, it feels really weird. I feel so much more, like, self-conscious. Even, like, even if I'm home alone, if I have the door open, I feel way more exposed and uncomfortable. It's so strange. But it's like that with the window, too. I'm just imagining someone walking down the road and they're just going to hear me going, Fleens? You're not Fleens. I'm going to be like, what the heck is going on in that house? <laughs> but yeah, it's just it's just like feeling exposed. And Tiffany staring at me from the doorway. Now Tiffany would be fine. She She just doesn't like being around when I'm streaming. She's like, you're making too much noise. Get out of here. The thought that someone might overhear, but no, that doesn't explain why I still feel like that when I'm home alone. Like, like there's nobody in the house, but if I have my door open, I feel weird. I have to close it, even even though there's nobody else in the house. <laughs> it's, it's just like, I don't know what it is. I think I just feel like comfortable, like being like enclosed in my room. It's like my safe spot. Anyway, let's move on from these clips. We've been stood here a while. <laughs> Good thing nobody redeems a rude voice. I've got it turned off for today. <laughs> These stone guards have got their it, rules. I turned it off so do because the, the window's the open. <laughs> Zumbini's one guard won't allow. The other guard surely will. All right, let's figure this one out. This one's nicer because there's not like Welcome. a limit. Cute little pebbles, aren't they? Yeah, look at them. They are cute. This one's easier because if they don't like them, they just like boop them back down. So let's try figure this out. Yeah, same. Don't know why, but close the door every time. Yeah, I, I, I think it's like when I'm when I'm streaming. It's like I'm I'm in my little streamer land. I'm here. I am I'm here in the streaming domain. So like I want to block out the outside world as much as possible. <laughs> oh, you didn't even want to do it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I already thought of that because like having the window open, I was like, I'm I'm gonna turn off the voice redeems because I don't want to do silly voices when the window is wide open because I do live in a neighborhood where there are usually people outside and so they they would be able to hear me because my room is on the front of the house. <laughs> oh, Zumbini plushies would go hard. Oh, they would do. They would be so cool if you could have like little mix and match Zumbinis, like all oh, action figures. If you had like figures that clipped into place and you could swap the different parts, kind of like a Nendoroid, something like that, that would be the cutest thing. I would love that. 
How good would that be? Oh my goodness. Uh, the way this is laid out reminds you so much of the old Pod Pod games. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a common thing for like the the educational games of this time. It's a it's a very similar feel to them. Like the vibe they have is is great. Cause I I used to really enjoy the Freddy Fish games. I really like Freddy Fish. I'd love to replay the Freddy Fish games at some point. <laughs> But I can think of other games I played too that were like non-educational ones, but it's this kind of image to it, this kind of cartoon feel with the the point and click. It's it's so good. I love it. Right, let's let's just send one up here. Mm, okay. Yeah, you're fine. Send you up. Step right up. Yep, you're fine. Uh send you up. Sure. Welcome. Yep, yellow nose is probably fine here. Step right up. Yep. Sure. Well, this is a good start. <laughs> a good start. Yes, the, the edutainment games. Where it's like education and entertainment at the same time. I remember that. It's so funny. You can just call them educational games. It's fine. <laughs> It is fine to to find educational things entertaining. You don't have to try and sell it like that. It's so funny. Right, let's send you up. Oh no, okay. Uh-uh. You don't like that one, do you? Step right up. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> okay, so now the question is Is it the eyes or the nose? Let's find out. Well, it could be either. Sorry. How about you? Nope, not you. Okay. Nope. The rest probably up here then. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, you have the same eyes. Oh no, it is the nose. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, it is the nose then. So, yellow nose is here. Other noses oh. this way. Have a good time. Probably. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Very easy going guards. <laughs> nice. Splendid job. Thank you. Let us Glad continue. To drop in. And so our brave travelers continue on through this dusty wasteland until they meet Arno. Pizza time! Pizza, pizza, pizza! One very hungry pizza troll. Pizza, pizza! Pizza! Fleens? You're not, not fleens! Hello! Huh. Whatever you are, make me a pizza! Right, let's see what you want. Let's start with this two things. Something on that I don't like. Okay. Let's try these two. Just just to see. Nope. Let's try just cheese. Do you like cheese? Something Moscow? Nope, you don't like cheese. Okay, it's good to good to know. Well, this is like the easiest difficulty at the moment too. I'm pretty sure later on this has like multiple people wanting pizza. I should have just done, like, the single ones to begin with, to be honest. Like, on this difficulty, I should Something just do them on one at a time. I don't like! Let's try just pineapple. You like pineapple? More toppings! You do like pineapple, okay. So, let's make a random guess of this one. It's one of these two. Thank there it is. Thank Got it. Easy peasy. 
Love the pineapple. Right, let's keep going. I'm very You're curious to see how how well. badly I do on hard difficulties. Because <laughs> I'm kind of just face rolling everything at the moment. <laughs> but I can do when it's on this like the easier difficulties. Onwards to the campsite. Well done. You're Yay. adjusting to the trials of Rockstar. the journey. Rest up if you must. Push on if you dare. Oh my the Zumbinis still outside. have much in store for them. Oh yeah. See, did you hear that? That's that's the kind of stuff I have to deal with every day. It's so loud. I don't know why they just rev their engines up around this tiny corner. Like, <laughs> there's nothing here. What are you doing? Ah, thank you for the hydrate. Oh, and thank you for the lurk as well. I hope hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you for... <laughs> I'm glad you were here for the pineapple pizza, at least. More hydration. Anyway, this is the poor one that got attacked by the fleens before. So, let me double check the map. The fleens are down this way. I feel like this path is easier. I feel like the top route is easier. Oh, look, yeah, the difficulty's gone up now. Yes, now that I've got three groups of Zumbinis up to here, this has gone up to oh so hard. Okay, so the difficulty here is going to be more now. Nice! Right, I think we go Fleen Path because we have a variety here. I, I shot myself in the foot last time by going along the Fleen Path with the twins. That did not work because it meant I'd lost all of my turns pretty much. So I know not to do that now, but I think I've got a, a really good variety here with this lot. I think... Let me have a look at the features because we've got... We've got three with the shades. We've got two with those eyes. We've got four with the dot eyes. We've got three with the, the cyclops eyes. One, two, three, four. And four with those. So there's a fairly even amount, but like they're different enough that I think I could figure it out. Maybe. I'm kind of rambling a bit. I'm just gonna go. We're just going. We're just going to go confront the fleens. <laughs> Logic There's no time. sense leaving it up to chance. Lure the fleens off the tree branch. Because this one is like, after I remembered how to do it, it is quite easy. Like on, on the easy difficulty, it's very easy because... Bling, 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 bling. Oh, wow. Bling, bling, bling. Okay, uh, cause on this one, it's, I'm, I, I might be misremembering. I don't know if I'm remembering properly, but I think it's like the, the easy difficulty means that like the hair corresponds to the hair, but I think like on harder difficulties, it can be anything. So like the Fleen's hair can mean the Zumbini's feet and match up in that kind of way. Right. So first of all, looking at the hair, we've only got one of this. So that's going to be ponytail. So we're not using ponytail. It's not ponytail because we need these ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's scruffy hair. Scruffy hair. The pink one is scruffy hair. So we know we need two of these with the scruffy hair. Okay. I feel like I should be making notes, honestly. <laughs> Wait, where's my notebook? I can just get my notebook out. Hold on, where is it? Ah. I'm gonna make notes. I'm I'm going to actively write down notes in my physical notebook to do this. So that I remember, because otherwise I will forget, because my my brain keeps things in it for about three seconds. <laughs> Especially when it's not fueled with sleep and it's only fueled with monster. Jetpacks, hello! Welcome, welcome! Scruffy hair. 
Square feet equals pink mohawk. Viking hair equals ponytail. Uh, there's there's two of the blue one and there's two of the bandanas. So that's going to be the little tuft of hair and the mohawk. And I'm sure from the feet I can figure out which is which. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, this is the problem. Like, this, these are the kind of puzzles that I devour and adore. But when I've not had sleep, <laughs> it's a bit more tough. All right, let's look at the eyes. Let's try to figure out the eyes. Ba 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 ba. Right, so let's let's see which one has the least. We've we've only got two of the glasses. So which one has two of the eyes? Ba 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 ba. I think it's these ones, the visors. Yeah, there's only two visors. So visors equals nerd glasses. Oh, well, I could have figured that out anyway. We, could, we can use this one as a baseline because she's the only one with a ponytail. So we know from that that Zumbini blue nose equals Fleen purple nose. Because we, we've, we figured this one out. We know this one. So we know that the purple nose there means the blue nose here. And then the propeller feet equals the tank treads. <laughs> So from that, we know that this one is scruffy hair with the tank treads. Oh no, with a propeller even. And there's only one scruffy propeller. No, there's two. There's two. Never mind. There's two of them. Okay, not rushing. <laughs> not rushing in yet. But we know that it's, it's going to be one of these two. So if I can figure out the rest of the noses, that can work. Right, these ones with the hairstyles, there's a pink nose for both of them. So the ones that have two, which nose do they have in common? It's the blue nose. So a fleen blue nose is a Zumbini pink nose. And we, we know that because, uh, because there's the two here with the same hairstyle, pink and yellow. There's the two here with the same hairstyle, pink and blue. So they have pink in, co in common. So if we look at these two with the same hair and these two, the one they have in common is the blue one. So a pink Zumbini nose is a blue Fleen nose. And we can see that this one has a blue nose. So that means it's scruffy hair with a pink nose. So it's this one. Scruffy hair, propeller, pink yeah. nose. Oh, yeah. It's that one. Yes! First one! First one, no mistakes! Logical deduction. Yeah! <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> right, let's try and find the next one. This is another scruffy one. Scruffy hair one. Oh, although I guess we can do this one. Because we know that this one is going to be either this one or this one. Because it's not going to be the, the pink nose. But we know it's one of the ones that has only two matching hairstyles. So it's got to be either this one or this one. It's got to be one of these two. So if I can figure out more, we can work out which one it is based on a different feature. Also, Lara, hello, welcome. What's happening here? What's happening here is I'm playing a, a children's edutainment game from the 90s. And it's, it's a logical deduction puzzle game called Zumbinis. And I'm currently making notes to get through this puzzle without making mistakes. <laughs> but welcome! This game is so good. This game is so good. I'm going to recommend it to people, even like people who didn't play it as a child. Because it's genuinely so fun. It makes you think so much. I love it. And Bush Baby, hello! Thank you. Oh, thank you for the luck. I hope you have a, a lovely day. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good day. Welcome, welcome. Gotta love that edutainment. Yes, you've heard of it. What's the puzzle? Uh, basically, at the moment, this is my little band of Zumbinis. We're trying to get them to 
a new land which we are calling Zumbiniville because their old home was taken over by capitalists. Uh, <laughs> uh, but this gang is in our way. So the goal of this is that we need to get these three off the branch so that the bees can chase them off. It's, it's a very friendly children's game. But uh, the way to do that is we need to figure out which one of these fleens is going to chase which Zumbini. And it's currently on the easiest difficulty, so the way it works is that the hairstyle of a fleen will match the hairstyle of a Zumbini. And you have to work out, like with logical deduction, which part relates to which part of each. So for example, we look at this fleen here. This one is the only one with like this Viking helmet. So we know that if there's a Zumbini that doesn't have anyone else with the same hairstyle, it's gonna correspond to that fleen. So we have this little fellow over here with the ponytail. So we know that this one relates to this fleen. We're not sending this one up. We're not sending this one up because it will be a waste. <laughs> oh my goodness, an anonymous gift sub! Oh, thank you so much! Thank you so much for the gift sub! I really appreciate it! Happy September! <laughs> hey, you get the sub now! You get to enjoy the, the ad-free viewing. And you get to enjoy uh, the, the, the emotes. All of the emotes. I I I recommend the Louis Bongos one. Lost the plot of this puzzle. It's it's um, I'm I'm not doing a very good job of explaining it. I uh, I think I could explain it better if I had like more more than two hours of sleep last night. But uh, <laughs> but it's it's all about like figuring out the patterns. It's pattern recognition. Like here we've got like one two three four five six of the fleens have a big old mohawk. But I counted, and six of my Zumbinis have this, like, scruffy hairstyle. So I know that a fleen with a mohawk is going to chase after a Zumbini with a scruffy hair. So using that, that's how I figured out this first lot. I figured out that the tank treads relate to the propeller feet, and a pink nose for a Zumbini relates to a blue nose for one of the fleens. So from that, I managed to figure out that these two are connected and get that one off the branch. But it's so fun. Oh, Semi Lurking is your apply for jobs. Oh my goodness, good luck. I hope you find a, a good job out there. I hope I hope the applying goes well. <laughs> but thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. I'm Right, let's let's try and figure out this one now because we know this is a scruffy hair. And from the the notes that I've made. Hmm. Part of me wants to, like, put a little notepad document on the screen for figuring it out. But if I do that, I'm going to have to tab out of the game and we won't have the ambient sound effects. I'm going to do it. I'll, I'll put some elevator music on. <laughs> Let's put this on. There we go. Right, I'm getting my notepad document. Where's my notepad? We can use this to make notes. I'm... I'm going to actively make notes on Zumbinis. Children's game on the easiest difficulty. I'm going to make notes in Notepad because um, my brain's not working. All right. Okay, here it is. I'm going to move it from there, though. Why is it covering things? Maybe, like... Hold on, let me make it a different size. Like this. Here is my little notepad document. We're gonna use this to make notes. Hair. Fleen mohawk equals Zumbini scruffy. We figured that out. What else did we figure out with the hair? We figured out that Vi Fleen Viking equals Zumbini ponytail. Right, that's what we figured out for sure with the hairs at the moment. So we can go eyes next. Visor equals red glasses. I'm not gonna type fleen every time, I can't be bothered anymore. I'll just always do the fleens first. But I think like writing it down and having it in front of me is gonna make it easier to, <laughs> easier to figure out. 
Also, sweet note. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? Welcome into Zumbinis. I'm doing my, my logical deductive puzzles whilst having no sleep. It's great. Uh, you remember me saying something about nose? Yeah, I've got the noses written down too. I just haven't gotten to it yet. <laughs> oh, what did I even write here? Okay, uh, yeah, purple nose for a fleen. Purple for fleen is blue for Zumbini. I will type that way because they both have blue noses at some point. Would it be easier with a spreadsheet? Probably, but I don't have an easy way to just show a spreadsheet on the screen. I just have my notepad thing already set up. <laughs> this is all I need. I'm just writing notes. Okay, let's go feet because we know tank treads is propeller. Figure that out. Oh yes, and a, a blue fleen nose is a pink Zumbini nose. So we know that much. I think that's all the details I figured out so far for sure. So we can use this now. Also Sparrow, hello. Oh, thank you for stopping in. Thank you for saying hi. I hope you have a good day. I hope your, your trip to the outdoors goes well. <laughs> but thank you for stopping in. I'm, I'm gonna get him home. I'm gonna get him home. I'm figuring it out. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm writing things down. Yeah, spreadsheet might be required for super hard mode. Yeah, I'm, I'm not thinking about that yet. <laughs> but yes, I will, I will figure things out in whichever way I need to when I get to the harder difficulties. But we're still on easy for now, so I can use my little notepad document. Right, so we can figure out with the hair as well now. Uh, we know that bandana and ponytail for the fleens is equal to... Tuft? I, I guess I'll call it Tuft. The Tuft or Mohawk for the Zumbinis. We don't know which is which, but there's two of each for those, so it's one of them. So we can figure out from that then that the green hair is going to be the other one. It's going to be the little cap hair. The cap bob. <laughs> so we know it's not going to be any of the Zumbinis with the little cap bob. We're not sending any of those out. We got it. Oh, can you imagine a teacher trying to do this with a classroom full of kids? <laughs> I can't. See, that's why, like, whenever I was in school, we never did this as, like, a group activity. It was never like, all right, class, we're going to play this today. It was um, everyone get on your own separate computer and you are all going to play it separately. And if you get stuck, you call the teacher over to help. But we would all play, like, independently and individually. <laughs> I can't imagine, like, the chaos of a classroom of like, all right, so what can we figure out from this class? <laughs> it would be wild. It'd be fun, but it'd be wild. Hold on, I'm, I'm going to actually make my font smaller in my notepad document so that I can do this. Okay, it looks so small on screen now. <laughs> but I think it should be okay. There we go. Yeah. You can still see it. We can still see it. Oh my goodness, get the kids to dress up as Zumbinis and Fleens. Oh yes! Yes! Oh my goodness, costume party! Just get a bunch of matching wigs and just be like, okay, you three have this wig, you have this wig. Here, put this clown nose on. <laughs> right, I haven't done anything with... Oh, wait, I, I put the nose with the eyes. There we go. Haven't done much with the eyes yet, but we also know with the eyes that uh, three eyes equals Cyclops. Those ones match up. So, right, now we need to figure out the next Mohawk one, I guess. We know it's going to be a scruffy hair one. We can find this one out. Let's try work out the noses. We've got two of the noses. If we can figure out the other two, it'll be easy. Or like three. There's three, but th there's only one with a red nose. Wait, which of these only has one of the nose? Wait, there's only one green nose. Oh my goodness, there's only one green nose. It's the red nose. 
It's the red nose Zambini. We found it through the nose. So green equals red Zambini nose. Because there's only the one with a green nose. That actually worked out so nicely. Hold on, I need to move this now because that's where I'm going to send the Zumbinis over. Okay, you go with that. That's, that's a safe spot for the notepad. <laughs> okay, so we're sending this one out. And this one should correlate to this one. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Two out of three. I'm actually, like, way overthinking this. This is... <laughs> It, it, that one was so easy. I should have found that immediately. <laughs> I just, I was so obsessed with the hair. I wasn't looking at the noses. The noses are probably an easier reference point because there's like six with a yellow nose. Yeah, the six with a yellow nose, which has the most noses with the, the fleems. I think that might be blue. No. No, the blue is the pink. Red. Red nose. Red nose for the fleen. Red nose for fleens is yellow Zumbini nose. So then the other one's the other one. <laughs> also jetpacks. I love I love the ooh. I really appreciate the ooh. The realization moments. <laughs> it's like it's it's such a straightforward thing that like if if I was, like, in full brain capacity, I would have gotten it so quickly, but as it is, I'm, like, I'm running on no fuel, so... <laughs> Wait, I should have more monster. So it's nice knowing that I still got it. Even, even when there's only the three brain cells, they're still figuring it out. So then, which is the last one? The last one is the yellow fleen nose, so that's going to correlate to... Blue, pink, red, yellow, green. So we've got the noses. We know the noses. So we know with this one, this is a purple nose. So it's going to be a Zumbini with a blue nose. And it's one that only has two hairs. It's got to be this one. It's got to be this one. Not me second guessing myself and counting things quickly. Uh, yeah, it's got to be that one. Yeah, we got it. Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Flawless run! Not a single mistake. Look at that! From oh, first oh, try, oh, each oh, one. Oh, oh, oh. I, I need to turn the elevator music off now. That was that was horrendous. <laughs> but yay! Hold on, I'm gonna get my shortcut for my notepad. On my buttons. There we go. Okay, I now have a button to show and hide the notepad. <laughs> so if I need it again for later puzzles, I have it ready. But yes, we solved it. Yeah, I like that the puzzles give you time to actually be logical. That's why I like it so much. It's like all of the... Oh, that is so loud. This gang, they're so loud. But it's why I love logic puzzles so much. Hurry, Zumpinis! Hula, yeah. the forest's foremost. So and fun. perhaps only, band leader is about to begin rehearsals. She'll be closing the hotel for the night, so scamper into a room. I remember this one getting really hard later on. Guests? Hi! Ah, guests! I'll be right down. Lovely guests. Make Look yourself cozy. Hmm, just when I was starting Welcome. rehearsal. Welcome. You're just in time for tomorrow's concerto. Help yourselves to a room. Thank you. I got rehearsal. Go ahead. Find yourselves a room. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of the things I really like about this game, too, is that there's never, like, the time limit pressure. There's maybe a turn limit pressure with a lot of things. There are some where it's like, you can't make too many mistakes, you will lose. But there's never the time aspect. You can always take as long as you need to think it through. And that's what, that's what I love in puzzles. I'm, I'm, I can think very slowly sometimes. <laughs> like I'll, I'll always make my way to the answer eventually, but sometimes it takes me a while to get there. So I don't like being rushed on my way towards the answer. I, I like having the time to 
fully think things through. Anyway, the first thing we can do here is just, uh, this is your room. And now we must figure out what the rule for the rooms is going to be. Yeah, methodical solving. Yeah, that's exactly it. It is. It's all about um, figuring out the, the patterns, being methodical, logical deduction. It's, it's like it's called the logical journey of the Zumbinis for a reason. There's a lot of logical figuring out that happens. And it's, I, I love it. I love it. Right, so we know that um, on the easiest difficulty for this, um, every Zumbini has something in common to share a room. So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to find one that has most things in common. And I'll put you in. If you're denied, it's the eyes. It's not the eyes. We know for a fact it is not the eyes now. So it's going to be another element. So let's go for... Same hair and nose. Let's see if it's the feet. It's not the feet. Who did I already put in then? Yeah. I'm glad that you can check who you already had in. So they all have the same nose and hair. So it's either noses or hair. So let's try one with the same nose, but different hair. No, it's it's the hair. It's the hair. They have to have matching hairstyles. The ones with matching hair get a room together. And because it's easy difficulty, there's only one thing. <laughs> so we got it. But uh, I know that this is one with the time limit because like when, when the clock empties, like when you do a wrong guess, the clock moves forward. And when it reaches like the top, it's like, oh, it's it's too late now. Anyone who doesn't have a room, get get out of here. <laughs> but yay! Very, very straightforward figuring out there. I'm I'm proud of myself. I did it. <laughs> Look at me solving puzzles for children. I'm so proud. But yeah, one thing I remember is like, I never actually completed this game on the hardest difficulty as a child. Like I never got all of the Zumbinis across on the hardest difficulty. Mostly because I only had the chance to play it in hey, school you're at ready designated to times. Dream a little dream. For you. <laughs> but because of the fact that I only got to play it like at specific times in school, I didn't get to just like sit down and binge it the whole time. It would be like an hour in computer class every now and then when we weren't doing something else. And I never got to the hardest difficulty and I, I wish I could have, but, but I can now. <laughs> I can now, because I never had this at home. I only played it at school. I would have loved it though. Yes, I love the, the targets wall. one and all, and watch for a pattern on Mudball Wall. See, this is a really nice one because this one is another similar logical deduction, figuring out how things relate to other things, but it keeps the results up for you. <laughs> all right, so let's start with just. Well, it just started with, like, red and circle. We may as well just start with that. Let's start with that one. Okay, that is right there. So that's not great. So one of these we do not need. It's either the red or the circle. Let's try something completely different. Let's do a blue square. Okay. That's good. That's good. Right, now, are the colors the columns or the rows? Let's find out by doing a blue triangle. Yes. Colors are the columns, shapes are the rows. Good to know. Good to know. So we know it's not going to be circle because... Well, it's not going to be red. None of them are red. We're not using the red. This whole column... 
is the red column. We don't need any of that. Right, so there's one more shape for the blue. But I'm tempted to try with a different color to see, like, if I might hit one of these instead. So I'm going to go for star, but I'm going to go pink. And see where this goes. Up there. Okay, we got... We got the stars. That's good. That's really good. That's really good because now we know pink star. We can go blue star and it's going to be that one. Yes. So now it's just figuring out these ones. So we've got star, triangle, square, circle, Diamond is this bottom row. This bottom row is diamond. So there's more in this column. So I'm going to I'm gonna go for star again. I'm gonna hope this column's green. But if it's not, we can still do it, I'm pretty sure. Ideally that will go there. It does not. But that's okay, because now we know we can do. Uh, this is a yellow column then, so we can go yellow circle, and we got a three. We've got all the information we need here. <laughs> and we should have enough mud. I think we're fine for mud. It is easy, so... <laughs> Thankful for easy difficulties. On you go. Blub, blub, blub. So then we can go square. We can go yellow square. And another one up. And then we'll go yellow star for the top. And then the last one is going to be green diamond. The wall also looks really cool. It is! It's so cool! I think this was always one of my favorite puzzles. Like, I do remember on later difficulties too, like, it ends up with, like, an extra line of colors. <laughs> So it gets more complicated too, but I, I love this because it shows the results. It shows each of your attempts where it is. You can figure it out very visually. And I always found that so much easier to work with, having like the, the visual results job. available. <laughs> I did it! Splendid job! Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Let's keep going! We're gonna save them! We made it to the next campsite! It's a really fun puzzle, isn't it? I love it! I really love that one. It's a lot of fun. Amazing indeed! Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Another relaxing campsite <laughs> ready and waiting for Zumbinis! <laughs> and they'll need their rest. Oh my the darkest. goodness! Most dangerous part oh, of the journey is yet to come. <laughs> I forgot I left these here. I forgot I actually got this gang through and I only got one through the end path so far. Oh, that's so funny. Right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm going to put half of these away and have half of these. So I'm, I'm not going twins. I'm making things harder for myself. I'm gonna not go with twins. I'm gonna... I'm gonna make it more difficult. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah. This is the new gang. <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh, it makes you want to write a Twitch play script for Zumbinis. Oh, that would be so fun. That would be so funny, but I feel like everyone would just lose. <laughs> Hardest part would be the mouse control. Oh, I know there's ways you can do that, whereas there's like the heat map and wherever like the most people click, that's like the, the counted thing. There'd probably be a way to do it. That would be really interesting to try and figure out. I hope it would be like the, the Twitch plays um, Ace Attorney Investigations where it was just like show badge 20 times. Throughout <laughs> these gloomy mountains, Strange carvings left oh, by ancient peoples are everywhere. Let's see how easy it is this time. 
Oh, I I was so happy recently. There, there was like a Twitch plays um, the new Ace Attorney Investigations, and the whole stream got kind of stuck because everyone was just doing um, show badge to Gumshoe, and like there were people like in chat going, "No, no, play the game. Don't show the badge again." And then everyone was just like, <laughs> "Show badge, show badge." <laughs> It's my favorite thing, those kind of games. I wonder what the final count was. I wonder how many... How many times the badge was shown. Anyway, these are the symbols we have to work with. It looks like hairstyles. It's just hairstyles. This one is fairly easy. <laughs> Also, Brindley, hello! Welcome, welcome! Zoom beanie time! And Zarok, thank you for throwing things at me! And the hydrate. I will have a sip of my, my flat nitro. <laughs> thank you very much! I will also have a big stretch. Welcome, welcome! Thank you for the, the care package. Welcome to a really tricky puzzle. Um, this has the hairstyles. They have to go on the path in order of the hairstyles. It's the easiest difficulty. There's no other elements. I have I just put them on. This is the hairstyle with the cap. This is the little mohawk. Do I only have one with a mohawk now? Oh, cool. Uh, this is the ponytail. I do have another one with a ponytail now. Two with a ponytail now. And then it's the scruffy hair. And then it's the little tuft. And they're all on the path in the right order. <laughs> you did it! You saved them all! Yeah, I did. Have I been zooming today? I have, and I've been beanieing. <laughs> I'm 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 zoom beanieing all of all of the, the zooms. Zoom zoom. See, this one gets more interesting when there's more elements, because you have to do it by like the one element and another one in order and it gets more interesting but on the easiest difficulty that one is so easy <laughs> there is a dog outside use the crystal filters to change the zumbini's reflection it will give them ah. crystal slamming protection There's, I, I just heard a dog barking inside my window. It's probably the neighbor's dog. Uh, my our next door neighbors on like the the one side, the side where like my my window kind of faces out to the front. Uh, they have a dog, lovely lovely dog. She's so friendly. She's also very loud. <laughs> and there's so there's so many like cars and bikes just revving up right outside my window. It's like they know I have the window open. And they're like, okay, it's time to make as much noise as possible. <laughs> oh, I forgot how pretty this game can be. Honestly, it's so nice. I'm so glad they managed to, like, do, like, the HD remaster of it. But they kept, like, the original art, the original style. It's so lovely. Right, let's, let's find the ones that match here. can hear her. I don't know if you guys can hear. I don't know if the mic's picking it up or not. Might be quite quiet if it is, but for me, the barking's really loud. <laughs> I'm not used to having the window open, but I kind of need the window open at the moment because my new mattress needs time to air. It is a little smelly. Yeah, they're the same. Got him. This one is literally just like finding the matching things and this takes me so long because my eyes kind of glaze over a little bit <laughs> I'm not very good at spotting things uh, which one is it is it um, it's you it's you yes double checking just to make sure right next one uh, there's a bunch of springs here. Oh, is it you? It's you! Oh, that was a fast one. Nice! Got him. 
Yeah, this one's more interesting on later difficulties too, but uh, to start with, it is literally just find thing here, find thing here, press lever. It's interesting when you have to start doing more than one. Because, like, the way it is at the moment on the easiest difficulty, like, you have instant validation if it's correct or not. Like, you instantly know because you can put them, put them in here, put one over there, and then you instantly see that they're the same. But later on, I think you have to, like, cue them. I don't remember, though. I'm, I could just be, like, inventing things in my mind. Yep, they're the same. You are safe from the crystal. Man, it's, it's so funny because I have really vivid memories of like the first half of the game. And then for this last stretch, I think I did it way less <laughs> as a child. Yeah, yeah, later on there's like, it's it's not just like a single plate. Alright, next one. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, it's you! Oh, I saw that one quite quickly. But it's like you have the instant validation, like you can see that's the same. Ba, ba, ba. But yeah, it does get more interesting when it's like you you have one that's almost there and then you can add like feet to change it to match. It's very cool. Very cool. I, I love this game. <laughs> Oh, it's that one. It is that one, right? Yes. I'm, I'm taking my time with all of them because I don't want to rush and presume I've got it right and then make a silly mistake. Because <laughs> that's the kind of thing I would do. Oh, hello. I was actually looking at this one. That's very convenient. Look at them go though, they're, they're, they've got like the, the skateboarding skills to jump over here. They're such talented little things, I love these. I love Zumbinis. You know what I really want to do at some point? When, it, when I have like spare time and I'm feeling awake and stuff, I want to draw myself as a Zumbini. <laughs> I want to make like what the Liri Zumbini parts would be. Make a Liri Zumbini. I think that would be very cute. Alright, next one. Who's this gonna be? Is it you? It is you. It is you. Yes! Yeah. yeah, taking my time makes for a very chill stream. That's exactly it. Like, it's... It's part of the fun of games like these. You, you can speed run through them if that's what you enjoy. Or you can just like take your time and enjoy the the logical journey. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, you're the same. But I like I like to just like go at my own pace. It makes it more more fun that way. I love some beanies, well name them all. Okay, there's a uh, Zrago, there's Flubok, there's Gragle, there's Flom, there's Grew go that uh, it's just random combinations of letters. Think of think of, put a key smash with vowels in and you've got a zumbini name probably. <laughs> I love them. It's so cute. Oh my goodness, zumbini v vtuber model with interchangeable parts. That would be hilarious. <laughs> also, Jack, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome to zumbinis. I'm helping them through. I'm doing well, I haven't lost a single Zumbini so far. Fingers crossed, touch wood. I'm not gonna lose any of them. <laughs> I'm doing it. Bum, 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 bum. Next one is you. Looking very sultry with these eyes, honestly. <laughs> Zumbinis. Next one is you. It's much easier when there's less of them. <laughs> I got him. So is this actually this long of a game or is it multiple playthroughs? It's um multiple runs of the game, but like after you've done a certain amount of runs, the difficulty goes up. 
So it gets harder the more you play. So by the time it gets towards the end, the puzzles are genuinely extremely difficult. <laughs> So it's like, it's a fun thing to just pick it up and do a couple runs every now and then. Especially with the difficulty going up too, I think it's going to be fun. I'm excited. I want to keep playing it. But it's like, I forgot how much fun it is. So I'm, I'm excited at the thought of playing more. <laughs> like, it's not going to be like a consistent thing. Like, this isn't like my new I stream this every week kind of game. It's going to be more of like a, a filling a gap. Uh, let's have a chill day, let's do a bit of Zumbinis kind of stream. But it's so fun! And I would love to finish it. I never finished it as a child. I, I kind of want to like fulfill my childhood dream of completing Zumbinis. I don't think I actually had that as my childhood dream, but it is now. <laughs> I'm retroactively making it my childhood dream to complete this game. And they're all through! Search first for traps. And then so this one is genuinely to difficult. To get Zumbinis across Bubble Wonder Abyss. This one's genuinely quite difficult to figure out, and I love it. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if the hardest difficulty is designed to be hard for the teacher playing along. Honestly, yeah, it probably is. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay, first off, immediately, they're both springs. So ones with springs are gonna have to go this way because if they go this way, they're gonna either get stuck in a loop if they have a blue nose. Oh no, they're, they're gonna go... Hold on, yeah, if they have a spring, they'll be going this way. And then either they go along that way or they go along that way. So if they have a spring, they will die if they go this way. <laughs> so instantly, spring is always this way. <laughs> but now this one, though, is alternating. Yeah, this is one that punishes rushing. This is one where you do actually have to think ahead. Because you have to plan ahead, because if you start sending them through and then you realize, oh wait, I needed one with this color nose, and they're not available now, then you're kind of stuck. But yes, uh, the ones with the springs cannot go this way. They will just, no matter what happens, they will die. <laughs> so springs are always going to go this way. But then these ones, anyone without a spring is going to go here, but they're going to alternate. So it needs to be one, when it switches this way, if it has a blue nose, it's going down. Blue noses need to go when it's pointing up. Blue noses need to be when it's pointing up because then they will go around this way. And ones with pink noses need to go that way. So do I start with that? Alternating blue and pink? Because the ones with any other color nose, they can go in either direction. That is not a problem. But I am actually going to get the notepad out for this one to, to make sure I have my notes. I'm going to go springs on left. Arrow up equals not pink nose. Arrow right equals not blue nose. Those are the notes I need. That's all I need. It's all I need to remember. These are the, the details I have for this puzzle. That's what I need to remember. <laughs> so now I have it up, so I won't forget. But yeah, this one gets so like fiendishly difficult when you start adding more than like two elements to it. But yeah, it, it should be pretty straightforward, I think. So arrow up, we're going to start with the blue nose. Blue nose and not a spring. Blue nose and not a spring. This should be safe. It's 
gonna take a while. I'm gonna do it slowly. I'm, I'm taking this one really slowly. <laughs> I don't wanna risk things happening. We're just gonna let you go on your little journey. Thankfully, because you don't have a pink nose, you won't be sent into the abyss. You'll just keep going and float over to the other side. But now, because this has gone over, this is now switch directions. So next we go on with a pink nose. Pink nose, but not a spring. Oh, I just realized all of the springs I have do not have pink or blue noses. So that makes things a little easier. <laughs> Right, so next it's going to go this way, so we need one with a pink nose. You. The pink and blue noses are the priority. Because once we've got all of those out of the way, the ones with the other colour noses, they can take either of the directions. They don't have to pick a specific one. So we're starting with the pinks and blues. To keep them safe. So next we do another blue nose with the propeller. Taking the very long journey. I'd rather take my time than rush it and make a mistake, I think. Oh, it gives me time to have more monster, actually. Hold on. Perfect. Because see, the ones with the springs are so easy. It is a straight path. It is like the easiest path. Those ones are very nice. So I'm getting the, the trickier ones out of the way first, which is the pink and blue noses. So the blue nose is across, so next we do a pink nose. Blum, blum, blum. And then next we do blue nose. Da, da, da. And then after that we do pink nose. Honestly, I can probably send multiple ones over at the same time. I'm just too scared to do that. <laughs> I need to keep a lookout for each Zumbini I send. I, I need to... I need to watch over them. <laughs> he. Trying to figure out how the game generates the puzzles will probably give you a headache. Oh, yeah, that's... That's something that's really interesting to think about, actually. I wonder if they have, like, a set... Like, rotation of patterns... And then the elements on the pattern just change depending on which Zumbinis you brought with you. I feel like that's probably the way they'd have to do it. Mm, that's really interesting to think about, actually. Right, but that, that was a blue nose, right? Hold on, it's... Yeah, we need a pink nose next. Yep, yeah, pink nose. Off you go, pink nose! Yeah, it's got to be so tricky because, like, th one of the things that is so great about this is that there's never a puzzle you can't solve. Like, they're always solvable. They're always made with the elements of the Zumbinis you have. Which is part of why it's so interesting. Although I guess, like, there might be puzzles at some points where they do become impossible, depending on which ones you bring with you. I'm not sure. Right, with that, all of the pink and blue noses are over. So let's do the springs. Let's get the springs over. And then the rest are easy because they can just go either way. Well, they, they go on the... Not straight into the abyss. They go on here. <laughs> but it doesn't matter if they go up or right. Because they don't have a pink or a blue nose. We can send all the springs over. I could probably do these ones one after the other because they're all taking the same path. Let's speed this up a bit. They're not going to get in the way of each other because they're, they're taking the exact same path. Look at them go with their little bubbles. They're so cute. I love them. Yeah. 
So now these ones, I'm pretty sure, like, it's just this. Whichever order, but I just need to be careful to make sure they don't get in the way of each other. Because it would be easy to just start sending them one after the other, but, like, if I send one now and it goes this way and then it crashes, like, here, that's, that's not going to be good. So I'd rather take my time and not worry about it. I don't want to pop any of these bubbles. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race. I love the way the, the little wheels wiggle. <laughs> Very cute. Now we do the next one. At least this path is faster, so I can start sending one over, because I know this one just takes forever. So, like, when it's, like, close to the end, I can start off. <laughs> but yeah, only a few more left. Look how happy they are. We're saving them! Zumbiniville is just along the path. We're almost there. I'm so proud of them. Off you go on your little wiggle. And then you're like right at the end, so I can send you over. And then once this one gets to like here, I'll send the last one. <laughs> yeah, round you go. <laughs> I got them all over safely. Not a single bubble popped out of place. But yeah, the, this one gets so complex when you end up like including multiple elements. Like there's so many possible elements it could be. It makes it so interesting. Deathless run, let's go! <laughs> and now the next lot I get from the start as well, the difficulty is going to be increased. So How be fortunate for Zumbinis that you are their guide! Yes, I'm glad to guide them. I'm proud of them. They've done a great job. It's been a perilous journey. They weren't scared at all. Or if they were scared, they didn't show it. Is this it? Yeah! Could this be the ha. place they'd been seeking? A place of hope and prosperity? Zumbini! Yes! We made it. I'll click to skip that because there's 32 now. <laughs> Oh, but look at this. Oh, we got a bowling alley now? This bowling alley honors the Zumbinis who flushed the finicky fleens in Hotel Dementia had pleasant dreams and catapulted cleanly over mud ball wall when the traveling was not so easy. We've got our lovely windmill here. We've got a nice little schoolhouse already. Oh, what's this? Oh, tower. Look at that! We've got a clock tower! It's coming along so nicely! Look at this place! I love it! Let's do it again. <laughs> Let's do it again. Oh, yeah, because I, I lost one to the Fleens before over here. So it's going to be awkward getting this one back. Hmm... Yeah, I guess we just go from the beginning. Right, we're amping up the difficulty now. I'm going full random again. I'm going full chaos. But oh, the music is so great. I love it. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> There's still Zumbinis that need to be saved. We haven't saved them all yet. We got a lot of work to do. We, we can't leave anyone behind. But yeah, I, I have no doubt at all that when it gets to the harder difficulties, there's going to be plenty of stragglers going back <laughs> so there'll be there'll be opportunities to to get those back afterwards but uh let's go let's send off this little band and now the difficulty has been increased for the first three levels i should have read that 
it, the, the text changed as the difficulty went. I did not read that. Hold on. The current party of Zumbinis will lose their way if you visit the map now. Yeah, you know what? Send them back to the cave and then we'll bring them back again. Bring them back again. I want to read what that said. Oh, they're right here. Yeah, there we go. Let's, let's try that again. Just instinctively going to click like, oh, I've seen this. And then I realized it was different. It seems ah. one of the allergic cliffs has built up immunity at last. Now Zumbinis with one of two features may pass. Oh. So there's there's one now that, that accepts two features. Instead of one. Right, so we start with just one of them. Let's start with you. You you look brave. Okay. You're gonna have to go over the other one. Right, time to figure out which element is the problem. There's a lot with these kind of shoes, so... I wonder... I'm just gonna start sending them along the top. Cause I think this is the one that's that's got like the the bigger allergies. I think this one's gonna let more over. Possibly. So I'm gonna start with this, and then if there's one that can't go over this way, we'll we'll go to the bottom and try and figure it out that way. Right, I'm just doing all the ones with these feet. All the rollerblades across. They they seem to be doing okay so far, so Yeah, this cliff is fine with, with all of these ones. So I think this is the allergic one. Alright, good start. Only lost one of the pegs so far. Ah, uh, don't mind you just testing delay. Uh d delay on the screen. Uh, the, the chat box that appears on the screen has a bit of an, an extra delay to it compared to like what I see in chat. Just just in case there's like a, a horrendous troll that says something horrific. Just so I've, I've got a little bit of time so it doesn't show up on screen. <laughs> but I think it's only like two seconds or so. It's I, I try and make it as small as possible. So uh, add that into account if you're, if you're trying to figure out like the stream time delay. I think there's a way, like, you can check how much delay is on the video on Twitch if you go into, like, the settings. Hold on, I don't remember where it is. I, I just want to check very quickly now for my own... Yeah, if you do the settings cog on Twitch and you do advanced, then you can do video stats and it will show you how much delay you have with the actual stream broadcast itself, which is really cool. <laughs> Anyway, let's see how this goes. I'm trying to time a sound. <laughs> Sneezy doot. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? Like, they just start to sneeze and you just stick a trumpet in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the doot. Right, so th these are all fine up here. I think this cliff is probably fine with most of them. Yeah, I think this is the one that's allergic to most things. But we'll see. I'll send both the propellers over here. And then we can try things. <laughs> try things out. I send you over with your little shoes. Yep, you're fine. Let's try you, because you've got different eyes as well. Oh, you're allergic to the eyes. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's got to be the eyes. But you're okay with those eyes. It's a shame there aren't any others. <laughs> and then... Right, I've sent three different eye types up here. So I'm thinking that the other two eye types are going to be the bottom. So I'm going to test that by sending you across the bottom. Yes, it's the eyes. It's the eyes. So you're okay with three eyes, you're okay with these two eyes. 
I think that is correct, yes. <laughs> And then these eyes are going to be down here. You're going to be up there. Very well deduced, I think. And you go here. Yeah. Well done! Still fairly easy. <laughs> Thankfully. Yay! And now we move on to the next part. Where the, the rock guards are going to be a bit more picky now, I think. These stone guards have their rules, so do proceed with skill. Zumbini's one guard won't allow. The other guard surely will. Yeah! We got this. How, um, <laughs> enchanting. Hello! Where do they all come from? Oh, you, you haven't seen anything yet. I've got so many of these bad boys back, back in the cave. <laughs> Right, first one, first oh, test. Okay. Just have to send you. Okay. Welcome. Yep. Okay, another one. Nope. Sorry. So this way. Mm. Oh, but not you. Okay. I must be careful about who I let in. All right, so you're gonna have to go this way. Go ahead, That's go interesting. Ahead. Let's try and figure this out. So it's not the spring part. The spring has nothing to do with it. It's going to be one of the other three parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and send one here with the same hair, but the same eyes and nose as the other side. You'll do. Okay, this one does not, not like either the eyes or the nose. Not all doors are open to you. either the eyes or the nose but this one's fine with it so you go up here this is going to be interesting right so i think this one's eyes this one i don't know yet hmm right what do i test next Right, I think this side is hair. This one is fine with this hairstyle, but didn't like this one. So I'm going to test this by using one with a mohawk on this side. I'm going to try it here. Have a good time. Okay. Mohawks are good on this side. This hairstyle is good on this side. These eyes are good with the top guard. These eyes are good with the bottom guard. So will you be good if I put you up here? Mm, okay. Yep. Right, how about the glasses? Do you like glasses? Sure. Nope, you don't like glasses. All right. Not all doors are open to you. All right, got it. Uh, maybe you only like the dot eyes. Hmm. <laughs> So I'm going to send you up here. Mm -hmm. You good? Yeah? <laughs> you good? Yeah, there's something about the animation in these games. I know, I love it. I love this style so much. It's, 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 got, it's got so much charm to it. <laughs> I want more games like with this style, to be honest. Give me more point and click games with like this cartoony animation. It's so cute. Right, I haven't experimented with the other th eyes, so... <laughs> so I know you're okay with the glasses, so I'm sending you up there. Right, now these... These hairstyles are an enigma. But I think this lower guard likes the dot eyes, so I'm gonna... Ta -ta. Try that. Yeah, you're okay with the dot eyes. Hmm. Ta -ta -da. Step right up. Yeah, this one just doesn't like the mobile, I guess. <laughs> Oh, no, I mean this one doesn't like the mohawk. So... If I send you up here... You'll do. One of yep. the chosen few. Let's try Cyclops' eye. Move it, Tut. Certainly. 
yeah, I think we're I think we're set now. Maybe. I'll might still be the hairstyle. Are you okay with this hairstyle? You'll do. Yeah, they're okay. <laughs> they're okay. I think we got it. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> Fabulous. How fortunate for Zumbinis that you are their guide. Yeah, so this one only lets the dot eyes through. And then this one lets all the other eyes. And then this guard only likes the mohawk. And then this guard's fine with all the other hairs. Nice! We got him! Oh, could you imagine a VTuber animated like that? It'd be so cool. I wonder how you'd do that. That'd be really interesting to see. I'd like to see in. that. Ooh, pizza When time. it comes to these finicky eaters, one troll's poison is another troll's pizza. And now it gets interesting. Because they both want different oh, pizzas come now. come on, pizza. You know I love you. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, we got two of them now. Oh, there's ice cream. Oh, goodness. Okay. I'm going to start with that and that. One of each. See what they think of that. <laughs> Something on that I don't like. Sorry. Something's wrong. Okay. Not that. Uh, let's try just pineapple. Let's start with just pineapple. See, I want to see what the hint says for this. Yeah, make each of them the pizza and ice cream they want and they'll let the Zumbinis pass. Yeah, so... I'll get feedback from both of them, but... They they won't like the same things. I'm gonna go with just pizza. See what they think of that. You don't like pineapple? More toppings! Oh, but you do like pineapple. Okay. All right, let's try this. See what they think of that. I'm. This is not going to be the most efficient way to do this. I'm just going to do it with like a single topping to begin with, just for a few. <laughs> Something must go. Mm -hmm. Is that all I get? Okay, you like both of those. I don't know how many attempts I get before they start sending the Zumbinis away. So I'm wondering about adding more than one. I don't know if it's... There's stuff on that I don't like! You don't like anything! More toppings! Oh, but you do! You like, like, everything. Right, how about this ice cream? Do you, do you do you like this ice cream, you two? Something on that I don't like. You don't like that ice cream. You don't like more anything. toppings. You like everything. So it might just be that. Does she like this? Let's try it. Try it, let's see if this works. Yeah, yeah. I know you don't like it, but do you? More toppings! You want more, okay. I don't know which one it is, though. Let's just go ice cream. Just ice cream. Is this the thing you don't like? Something must go! I'd appreciate more toppings. He wants just mushroom. She wants everything else. Okay, now one's gone. Yeah, we lost a Zimbini. Oh no, that was just a boop. Okay, you're still here. Okay, so you want... Yeah, she wants all of this, and then I'm pretty sure he just wants mushrooms. So I think this should be okay now. 
It was, uh, that was the warning beep, I think. Yuck. Hmm. Yes, you like that? So now I'll make you just just a mushroom pizza. That's all you want. You don't want anything else. You don't like anything else. That's fine. The perfect pizza! The perfect pizza. Just plain ice cream. And a tomato base with mushroom sauce. <laughs> That would be like the worst pizza for me. Because <laughs> I don't like mushrooms and I don't like Whoa, tomato taste. Oh my, you've done exceptionally well. we did well. it. I fully like carry on, carry blundered on. my way through that. There's definitely more efficient ways to do that that I will figure out when, I, when I've had sleep. <laughs> but we did it. Get him through. We went through the themes before. Let's let's go for the my the top path. That was challenging. Yeah. But you did it. You are a bright one. Yes, you are. Thank you. I try my best. Let's go this way. Yeah, this is they have to all sit on the seat and they have to have something in common with their neighbor. So we start with the ones Welcome with the, the least features now in common. Now yourselves up and find your seat. Which is going to be the eyes. This one is well, the only one with these eyes. To, I don't really care. So we need to find something else in common. Bum, bum, bum. I'm just going to start putting them on. And then when I get stuck, I will simply wiggle them around. <laughs> Ah, sure. When I get stuck, I will, I will just move on to something else. Let's do you. Oh, and then let's do the, the two with these glasses. And we'll go green noses. Ah, sure. Green noses. Uh, they all have dot eyes now. So, yeah, we got it. Um, ah, easy. <laughs> sure. Easy peasy. Look at that. They all have something in common with their neighbor. Color, flower, and lily. Yeah. This is what I got stuck on last time because I can't pass the shape of the, <laughs> the shapes of things. But uh, th this one's pretty straightforward, at least at this point. Oh, the minigame always makes you hungry. <laughs> Wondering where you last ordered pizza. <laughs> it's so good. I love the pizza one. It's something where, like, there's a, there's a really good way of figuring out how to do it properly. But uh, I, I I can't think at the moment, so I, I was just like, I'll just do them one at a time. It's fine. Anyway, we can start with flowers. I immediately see a flower path. If we go this way, these are the same types of flowers. We can start with that. Flower path. We got flowers. What else do we have? There's a red path. I see a very clear red path. Let's send the red one over. Because that won't interrupt with this path as well. So just the red across here. There's a pink path too. We can send the pink path over at the same time. Nice! I'm going speed this time. I'm speed running it this time. I took so long on this before. I'm going to go so fast. <laughs> Thank you, do your little dance. Red path again. Alright, let's try find another path. Crosses. Cross path. There's a cross path. But I'm gonna wait until the colours are done. Because it I think it'll get in the way of the colours. But there's one here, like the crosses in the middle. There's a path. Ba 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 ba. All the way down there, yes. There is a yellow path as well, I just realized. Handy. Right, well, I'll start with the cross path. I send the crosses over. These frogs are huge, by the way. Okay, but are the frogs huge? Or are the zumbinis just very tiny? 
<laughs> or both. Could be both. They're lovely frogs, though. It's so nice how they they don't even like question it. They're just like, yeah, hop on my, my back. I'm that's fine. That's fine. Get on. I don't mind. Do a little dance. Come back. I'll send you over again. Right. Let's find another path. I I, I know there is a yellow path here, but it it's in the way of the the cross path. So I'll wait for you to go over. What else is there? Probably shapes. Is there three petal ones? Maybe not that way. Uh, Pac-Man? Wait, that's a straight line. <laughs> it's just a straight line across here. <laughs> yeah, let's do that one. <laughs> so we can do that and then we can do the yellow path at the bottom. Fabulous. And then I might need one more, I think. Possibly. I don't know. That might be enough to get all of them. I'm not sure. We'll soon see. Send you over again. I can't believe that's just a straight line across. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. We'll send the yellow over again. Oh, I nearly put it there. That would have been awful. Oh, there you go. I, I, well, I think we can rule out there's not going to be a diamond one because the only diamond starting points are... Oh, no, wait. Maybe. No, there is a diamond path. Nice! I thought all the diamonds were blocked off, but there's a path this way. So that's going to be the, one of the last ones. So then what's the other one going to be? I feel like it has to be... Shape. Yeah, there's a three, three prong one. Do the diamonds get in the way? I'm not sure. I'm going to take my time just in case. To be careful. But I think I can go three... Yes. That's safe. <laughs> Over you go. I'm I'm like following them with my eyes. Oh no. No, go up. That way. This way, silly frog. <laughs> Thank you. How do I make you go that way from the start? Why did you backtrack like that? Well, so long as you make it to the end, that's fine. Which one did I put it on? Okay. Yeah, there's two left. Uh, did I put it on there? Across and up. Why do you go down first? It's not that way. Go, go up. Up that way. Silly frog. Okay, whatever. You make it there in the end. It's, it's fine, I guess. <laughs> and then the last one's going to be the diamond path. Which was here? Yes. Yes. I think it's safe to start the diamonds now. Last one. I made it! And I didn't spend a million years this time. <laughs> Follow the little diamonds across. Ba, 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 ba. That way. What lovely frogs. They're so helpful. <laughs> nice! They all made it! Let's go! Zumbinis will get a rise ah. out of these stone hexes. Yeah, this one was right. very easy last time when I, I brought the twins along. But I don't have twins this time. So I'll have to figure this out a bit more carefully. Oh, 
Right, I need three with the same noses. Three pairs of noses, three pairs of feet, same hair, same eyes. Hmm. I'm going to start putting them on and then if it's wrong, I will swap them. I'm going for like the trial and error approach. It's like put them down and then if something doesn't work out, I'll swap them. You got the same feet. You got the same feet. You got the same nose. Okay, I'm going to have to swap. Oh, swap you. Oh, I didn't mean to put you there. Come back. I didn't mean to put you there. I'm sorry. Oh, no. And then I need a blue nose. Or to swap one of these. Right. Same feet. Uh, oh. Okay. Hmm. Bring you back. Bring you back. Okay, so now we work from this. Uh, same nose. We, we need two with the same feet, but then we need four with the same nose then. I'm keeping the eye ones together. They, they can just stay there. You have the same feet. There's a lot of them with the same feet. The feet aren't like the biggest problem. So maybe what I do is I, I do the propellers for the same feet. Yes, and then if I do scruffy hair, then we've got two pink and two blue. Yes, that works. Nice. You got, got him. Them all through. Good for you. And they're all connected and through. Very logical. Yes. The approach I go for that is mostly like start putting them in and then when it stops working, figure out why and swap it. Like, adapt to it that way. I, I like those kind of puzzles. Where I can just Amazing try things. Amazing indeed. Another oh, we got more through to this campsite. campsite ready and waiting for Zumbinis. Mm. And they'll need their rest. The darkest most dangerous part of the journey oh. is yet to come. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I said I was going to do a shorter stream today. I do kind of want to keep going. <laughs> but I probably shouldn't. I I'm I'm very tired. I probably should try and get some rest. But I do I I want to keep going. This game is so fun. Maybe I'll send some more through, like, the first part. Get to the first campsite again. Bum, 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 bum. Get in your little cubby holes, my friends. Go back to the map. But look at this! We've now got 32 in Zumbiniville. We've got 31 at this campsite. We've got this poor little straggler over here who got chased off by the fleems. I'm gonna do one more lot just through the first bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna do one one more lot just through the first bit. <laughs> just the just the one, just the starting bit, just just the first bit, <laughs> and then I'm gonna go get some rest. But oh, this game is so fun though. I just I'm so glad I rediscovered this because it's it's genuinely such a joy to play. Just one more, just one more. <laughs> But it just feels bad leaving that one single Zumbini alone at the campsite. Like, the fact that that one Zumbini is alone at the campsite, I want to send these over so that that Zumbini has some friends and doesn't have to spend the night alone. That's that's my reasoning behind 100 this. 100 years later. <laughs> 12 more, just one more later. Right. Get across the cliffs. First try. Not that one. No boop. Right. 
I wonder if this one is allergic to everything or I just got unlucky. So let's send one over with completely different parts just to see. Okay, no, that one's fine. Let's send one over that's like a mixture. Okay, no. Not that one. Are you allergic to dot eyes? Maybe. Let's try send the dot eyes over the top. Dot eyes! Ba -ba -ba. I think it's the eyes here. Yeah. They're making it over. Right, so let's let's have the the other matching eyes here. And now I just try uh sunglasses. Yep, you're okay with sunglasses. So now is the question of, is this the one that's allergic to three elements or two? Because one of them is fine with two, I think. Let's try. Let's try it. Nope. Okay. Single eyes up the top. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is safe. And now, well, I've, I've got enough pegs, so I can I can just guess. Are you okay with glasses? Yeah, you're okay with glasses. There we go. We got them. <laughs> Speedy. I saved Whoa, them. Oh my! You. Exceptionally well. I have, haven't I? Carry Thank on, you. carry on. Dun, 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 dun. I love this game. <laughs> These stone yeah. guards. Stone guards. Cute little pebbles, Hi. aren't they? What did we do to deserve this? Well, you don't like them, but you're getting to meet so many new friends. Right, we start. Okay. That's I'm me. so sorry. Yeah, you sound so sorry. That was so sarcastic. <laughs> All right, so we've got our first one up here. Let's try... You have the same hair and eyes. Hair or eyes? <sighs> you don't like this hair or eyes. Not sure which. Could be both. Let's try the hair. Kind of slow. Okay, yeah, you don't like that hair. I must be careful about who I let in. I mean, okay. that's fine. We'll just go a different way. All right, so yeah, the, the ones with that hair, I'll just send up this way. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. <laughs> right, what to try next? How about you? Okay. Oh, you're so picky this time. I must be careful about who I let in. Okay. Yeah, this one's really picky. Do go in. Yeah, you you've let through like one of nearly everything, so I think I think you are fine with most of them. So let's send up the other scruffy hairs. Mm -hmm. Up this way. <laughs> scruffy hair. Proceed. Scruffy hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's all fine. Let's try ponytail. Okay. Certainly. Yeah. Oh, oh not that one though. Mm, nice try. Is that the eyes? That that might be these eyes. Certainly. Okay, but you're okay that way. Let's send the other eyes up there as well then. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Away you go. The one at the bottom is oh, it likes the dot eyes again. Hmm. Oh no. 
this way. Ah. Uh -uh. Oh no, it's that way. Sure. Welcome. Okay. Move it, toots. Not mm -hmm. the dot eyes. Is it the <laughs> treadmill? I think it's the treadmill. It's gonna be the feet then. None of these had a treadmill, did they? No, yeah, the top one does not like the treadmills. And then this one's picky with hairstyles. And then this side doesn't like the eyes. So can I okay. send you? Yes. And I think the others, I can probably send them all up this way. Yes, got him. <laughs> How fortunate for Zumbinis that you are their guide. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, hey, don't be strangers. Don't worry, we'll be back. <laughs> And now it's pizza time. Pizza for breakfast. Pizza with tea. Hi! Hello! I think these two, they seem to work quite nicely because it tends to be like they want the complete opposite of each other. Anyway, let's start with pineapple. Haha. <laughs> Something must go. You don't like pineapple, but you do. There's something no, there neither of them I like pineapple. Hate. Okay, no pineapple this time. Pineapple is fully denied. <laughs> Let's try peppers. Something must go. Is that all I get? Okay, you like peppers, but you don't. Let's try a bit of meat. Thank you. That's, thank you. that's all you wanted? Okay. I don't even know if you wanted that or not. I'm guessing not. So you want peppers and more. Let's try peppers and mushrooms. Do you like that? Is that all I get? Okay, you want ice cream too. I don't know, you could still want the meat as well. But let's let's try this ice cream. How's this? That topping? No. Okay, not that ice cream. Let's try that. Boop. Is this what you want? Or would you like sausage? Hmm. Yes, we got it. Haha! <laughs> Pizza party, baby! Nice! We made it! Whoa, Easy! My! You've done exceptionally! Got him. And see, I thought it only took me like 10 minutes. That was, that was easy. <laughs> I did it! Oh, although I, I saw the, the Zumbini speed run like 16 minutes. It's wild. Well done! You're adjusting to the trials of the journey. Yeah. Rest up if you must. Push on if you dare. The Zumbinis still have much in store for them. And now this one isn't alone. We got friends. We got friends. We got them. Fabulous. This one is no longer alone, you have friends now, until we set off on the next adventure. But I would say that was a pretty fruitful Zumbini session. <laughs> We're making good progress. We got 32 in Zumbiniville now. So I think that is a good spot to leave it at for me to... Um, now leave my bedroom, which smells of new mattress, which is not the nicest smell. <laughs> anyway, we, we got them all in their little cubby holes. Everyone say goodnight, Zumbinis. <laughs> Good night. Sleep well, my little creatures. I love them. I love them so much. Oh, next time I stream this, I need to get like a Zumbini PNG and have them like on my head. I need to put Zumbinis on my head. I need, I need Zumbinis on my head. <laughs> I've suddenly realized now that is a thing I really need in my life. I need I need Zumbinis on my head. <laughs> Good night, Zumbinis. Sleep tight, lovely little creatures. May you dream of Zumbiniville. <laughs>
Yeah, never realized new mattress smell was a thing. Yeah, it's it's a thing because like when the mattresses are packaged up, they're like vacuum sealed in plastic. And so when you cut that plastic open for the first time, it is it's not a nice smell. <laughs> it's not a nice smell, but thankfully it does it does go pretty quickly. Like as soon as I had my mattress like out out of the packaging, I just opened the window, put my fan on full blast, shut the door, and that pushed a lot of the smell out of the window. <laughs> so it should be fine for tonight when I actually sleep on it. But I'm really excited. I've already had a lie down on it and it's very nice. Wait, I should I should stop talking. I'm I'm keeping these poor Zumbinis awake. Let me let me go over here. Hold on. Let me leave them to sleep. <laughs> but oh that that was so fun. I love Zumbinis. I I love this game. It's such a good game. <laughs> but yeah, it's um it's something I had forgotten about, honestly, until the mattress arrived. And then we, we got it out and I was like, oh, oh yeah, this is going to reek for a bit, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, thankfully it, it has cleared up quite quickly. I think it's going to be fine for tonight. But I already had a lie down on the mattress and it's so comfy. It is, it's like night and day. Like after last night getting like a few hours sleep on the horrible, uncomfortable mattress I had before. It makes such a difference. It's so nice. It's so lovely to just lie on it. <laughs> like I haven't, I haven't had much of a lie on it yet because of the smell, but I, I can now. I, I can, I can lie on it now. The most of it's gone now. Having the window open definitely helped. It's. I don't like having my window open because where my room is on the house, uh, my my room is at the front of the house. So right outside my bedroom, there is a fairly busy road. So every time I have my window open, I always feel so self-conscious that, like, people outside are going to hear me. <laughs> and it always feels, like, a bit weird. I'm like, oh, I, I don't like knowing that there's an outside there. I like having my window shut. <laughs> but uh, I, I needed it open this time. I, I needed it for the smell. But uh, that was really fun. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me for the Zumbini times. <laughs> Next time I Zumbinis, I, I definitely want to make it a full-length stream. Because I know that both of the Zumbini streams I've done so far have been shorter streams. But I could keep going. I could quite happily keep going now. I just know that it's not a good idea. With how little sleep I've had, I need to, I need to rest. <laughs> Especially after, like... I, I need to sort out, like, my bedding and stuff, too, with the new mattress. But, uh, yeah, thank you for being here with me, though. I love it. I, I love spending spending time playing Zumbinis with you all. <laughs> they are so cute, though. It's It honestly makes me so glad that the game still holds up. Like, it really stands the test of time. It's such a fun game. <laughs> and I'm so excited for when it starts getting really difficult, too. I'm going to have to actually think about what I'm doing instead of just sending them out and hoping for the best. <laughs> But it's been so fun. Oh, oh, thank you for keeping me company too. I'm. I hope you've enjoyed the the Zumbini times. It's been so fun. It's been so good. Oh, I just realized as well. I missed a dictionary narration redeem at the very start of the stream. Nyokucho, if you're still here, I'm so sorry. I'm giving you your points back. I forgot about that. Oh, so distracted by everything and also my lack of brain. Oh, I loved seeing Zumbinis again, but not having to think. Oh, yeah, that's the best part. I get to show you the, the fun, nostalgia memories. And you don't have to do the thinking yourself. I'll do it for you. <laughs> oh, I forgot to say. You went to the aquarium and saw axolotls. Oh, I love that. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, I'm so glad you thought of me as well. <laughs> that makes me very happy. I'm so glad. But oh, thank you for the head pat. Right, let's let's find a raid target then. Let's find someone to send a raid on to before I go and get some rest. I, f I feel like I can hear Tiffany at my door. Does she know? Does she know I'm ending the stream? Oh, who shall I raid? Oh, there's a few people around who I could raid. What's happening? What are we feeling? 
Are we feeling comfy, cozy times? Ooh, ooh. Oh, weird question that totally isn't for fan art reasons or anything like that. Dr. Leary or Nurse Leary? Oh, doctor. Doctor with a, with a big long lab coat. <laughs> 100% like any like med medical idea I, I want the big lab coat <laughs> instant answer but uh Liri MD yeah I am I am the doctor um I'm, I'm prescribing um monster maybe not uh don't trust me with any medical advice I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> oh right oh Shall we head over to the the Maids of England stream? Maids of England is a it's a maid cafe in the UK. It's a UK based maid cafe that's been going for a really long time now. But uh, they recently got a VTuber branch, which is super exciting. I I learned about the VTuber branch at Vexpo when I went there, and I had no idea they were like branching into VTubing. But I've gotten to know quite a few of the members. And they're lovely. They're so nice. And uh, the the Maids of England Twitch channel at the moment is doing a a chill, comfy Pomodoro like work co-working kind of stream. I feel like that would be a really nice, relaxing time to head head over to. I'll send you over there, way. Let's go to the the Maids of Maids of England channel. Anyway, here is the raid message. We'll go Leary Raid. We'll have comfy emote if you're subbed or hearts if you're not. And I'll send you over to the Maids of England. They're, they're really... All of all of the Maids of England, like the VTuber branch, everyone I've talked to and met so far has been like so sweet and lovely. And like I actually met a few people at Vexpo too. Uh, I met Moog, who is one of the... one of the Moe Live members. And honestly, everyone is just such a sweetheart. They're really nice. So I'm going to send you over to the Maids of England channel for some chill times, some relaxing work together. <laughs> and with that, I will go and rest and um, figure out more mattress stuff, I guess. <laughs> But this has been a really nice stream. I've had so much fun with the Zoom Beanies. I'm glad I glad I got to play it again, and I am guaranteed going to be playing it more in the future. This this is going to be like my new. If I don't know what to play, I'll play a bit of Zoom Beanies. The kind of game. <laughs> it's so much fun. But yes, that is it from me for now. I'll be back on Friday for the long-awaited continuation of mine and Xander's Divinity Original Sin Adventures where two weeks ago we started a boss fight, saved and ended the stream, and then didn't stream last week. So it, it's, it's been like the biggest cliffhanger we've ended things on. <laughs> but we'll be kicking off with that fight on Friday. I'm, I'm excited for that. It should be fun. But oh, you too. I hope everyone has a lovely morning, night, rest of the day, whatever your time zone is. I'm going to go look after myself. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. And until next time, bye-bye.